Police say hanging out of car windows, two people terrorized another driver by wearing these clown masks. It's one of several incidents involving masks like this one that have popped up in our area. Concern is, you know, that uh, it seems like every time I hear or read somewhere that it's coming closer and closer. Concern is growing as quickly as the amount of clown sightings and threats are spreading. People have been saying, like, on, like, Twitter, it's like, they chase you, like, stuff like that. Like, they don't actually, like, they might not hurt you, but, like, the fact that, like, they can, like, chase you and, like, it's just, like, really creepy. Just hours ago in Lakeview, Long Island, police say a 14-year-old was leaving school when a menacing clown approached her from behind, wearing a white mask, red wig, and holding a kitchen knife. In Fairlawn, New Jersey, two people were arrested after spooking a driver. They were wearing these masks. They're both hanging out the front of the window and, you know, just the, from speaking with the victim, she just kind of said they just kind of like throwing their hands as if, as if to say like, hey, boo. Take a look. The Fairlawn arrests among several clown incidents in just the last two days. In Tom's River, a 12-year-old and 14-year-old girl were arrested for making separate clown hoaxes. In Yonkers, the Bronx, and Poughkeepsie, police have discovered threats on social media involving clowns and directed at schools. In New Haven, Connecticut, public schools banned clown costumes after Instagram threats. It's kind of just like the talk of the school, like, oh, did you hear about the clowns? Like, it's all over, like, Twitter and everything. Now, as police investigate each clown incident, social media-fueled anxiety involving clowns is becoming an everyday reality in the tri-state area. Owning a clown mask itself isn't a crime, but the threats and menacing behavior is. So now my daughter's... Uh mentioned to me that uh, she's not feeling comfortable walking home and for me it is concern. Police tell me because of Halloween they expect incidents involving masks like those to become more common. As far as the two people that were arrested here in Fairlawn, they were given court summons for having marijuana and reckless driving. Reporting from Fairlawn, I'm Ray Vieta, News 4 New York. There's an old saying and the saying is it's all fun and games until someone loses an eye. And that's what's going to have to happen. Somebody's going to have to shoot one of these clowns for them to stop chasing people through the woods and at schools. It's going to have to happen. Somebody's going to have to bust a cap at one of these clowns. I already told you guys what I would do if I was chilling, walking down the street. All of a sudden, a clown just jumped out of nowhere, tried to chase me down the street. I told you I would lay that clown down on the ground. Right there and there. I'm not going to be running from no clown. You guys are going to be like, oh my God, it's dumb as life. He's running from a clown. Like, no. So a situation happened in New York on a subway station. So people were on the trains, right? All of a sudden, this clown appeared out of nowhere. I don't know how a clown appears out of nowhere. Maybe he was in the back of the train. Then he decided to go to the front of the train. And he chased this 16-year-old dude off of the train. Now, not only that, the clown had a knife in his hand. So you must imagine this dude must have been terrified if a guy is chasing him with a knife. Now, listen, if someone runs at me with a knife and if I don't have a weapon, of course, I'm going to run. I don't want to run from these clowns, but I will have to. There's been other situations where schools were closed because of these clowns. It is getting out of hand. It's even got so bad in certain neighborhoods that they have banned clown suits so pretty much if you're walking around in a clown suit you're subject to go to jail but anyway if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like if you guys are new to the channel subscribe to the channel also my thoughts and prayers go out to everyone that's in florida right now hope you guys uh, stay safe out there and uh, make it through this storm I will be live streaming on my gaming channel. If you guys want to check that out, the link is going to be in the description. Go to the channel and see if I'm live. I will be live streaming Mafia 3. You guys can come out and uh, hang out with me and stuff. Anyway, I'm Thomas Live. You guys have a great day, and I'm out.